Hi everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. This is another layout for a Scrap the Boys design team and our challenge this month is peace and joy. It's obviously a Christmas uh, prompt. So the inspiration image which was in the intro to this video is a gorgeous little baby um, with his little Santa hat on and his little Santa outfit. So I thought I would scrap this picture of my little guy in his little Santa outfit. This was his first Christmas. He, oh, he was so sweet. We bought him this little outfit and oh my goodness, isn't it just adorable so here he is on um, one of his little blankets with some baubles and just just super sweet so I have a couple of uh, Kaiser Craft papers here they're all from older collections and I'm just trialing a couple of backgrounds and I have these little shaker embellishments that I made ages ago I'll leave the link to the tutorial for those in the description box and I thought the colors went pretty well for Christmas so I pulled a few of those out and I'm thinking about using those as baubles because he has all those little baubles on his um, rug that he was playing with. So um, they're just plastic ones, by the way. <laughs> they're not, uh, not glass, the ones he's playing with. But I thought, yeah, I'd have some hanging baubles on this layout. So I am just fiddling through now trying to decide what to do. I do end up going with that uh, white background paper with the green cross hatching on it. It's just a nice uh, neutral, neutral-ish, not too busy paper for a background. Going to start matting my photo. Can't even remember what I did for my photo mats actually. Just using some white and then this uh, kind of like a doily pattern. I just wanted a bit of red in behind there because he has that really uh, red outfit on. It's nice and subtle red though, it's not too bright or in your face bit of distressing just gently so a lot of these papers I'm using are quite old and I don't even know where I got them from or when <laughs> long long time ago many years now but this is one of those branding strips uh, I think it's off that background paper I'm using actually and it's a nice uh, minty green color so I'm just going to pop that either side of my photo a bit of a faux photo mat one of my favorite techniques to use up scraps And I love this little doily uh, border edge strip, so I'm going to bring that in. And this word, sort of, I guess it's a border edge strip. I will end up chopping that there. It says holidays are the perfect mix of warmth and cheer. And then it has Christmas time on the end, so I'm just going to snip Christmas time off. There we go, layering up. And then I think it says merry and bright, a bit of craft. Okay, I'm bringing in all these Christmas trees. These are all fussy cut out of a paper from the same collection as that sticker sheet I'm using. You can see there's a border strip on there with the same trees. And I fussy cut a whole paper's worth, so I'm only going to use a few of those on this layout. Just layering those up, trying to get a mix of the craft, the red and the mint green. Okay, so I want a red tree in both of my clusters because um, he's got red there in his outfit and I'm trying to balance either side of the photo. Another little word sticker, I'm not sure what that one says. So I love how those trees cluster around the photo there. Now I'm just rearranging those baubles a little bit. I don't end up using all of those, I think I only used three shaker ones in the end. So to fill in the gaps, I'm pulling out some stamps. I totally forgot I had these. I don't think I've ever used these little bauble stamps, but I thought this was the perfect layout for that. They're from Kaiser Craft again many years ago. I also dug these little bauble um, decorations out of my uh, stash. Again, from an old, I think, Rosie Studio die cut collection. You can see the uh, card down in the bottom right there with all the, um, all the ephemera from that collection. So I thought they matched nicely. Pulling out my stays on black ink and I'm going to stamp up those baubles. I think I used three of those as well. I'm going to stamp this kind of speckly, sparkly star one and then the slightly bigger one that says... I can't remember what it says. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's too small on the screen. I'm editing on to read it. The most wonderful time of the year maybe. And I stamped that on the, the green, wood grain sort of pattern. Then just fussy cutting those out. Okay. Now these ones, I'm just going to add a little half circle of glitter paper on the top to sort of um, make that like hangy bit. <laughs> yeah, very technical term. The bit that, that you hang the bauble from. 
Yeah, so I do have three shakers, I have three stamped ones, and I have three ephemera ones. And I'm just going to scatter those all around the top of the layout so they look like they're floating in the air. I'm going to sped this up super quick for you. <laughs> And I found this journal card, I love this, with a little nutcracker on it, and it says who, where, when, um, something like that, I'm not sure the order, um, and I'm going to journal on that, so I thought that was perfect, perfect colours. Pull off my title out of this festive foil statement sticker book, I got this from the reject shop last year, and I want to stick it on, but you really can see it on that background, so I'm going to flick through these journal cards, this is the Peppermint Wishes uh, pack of journal cards from Kaiser Craft. I got these last year as well I think but they might have been older. I'm just going to trim this red one down. Just need a bit more of a solid colour for that foil sticker to really pop. I'm just folding it in half to cut a fishtail banner. Okay. It has a slight pattern on it too I think. Uh, you just can't really see it very well on the screen. I've just tucked that back there and then I'm going to pop on my title. It says mistletoe, meet you underneath. And I thought that was appropriate because, you know, you just want to kiss him. <laughs> Such a sweet little face off. So I'm popping in my journaling. Um, I just put the, the date and, and just how it was his first Christmas. So it called for a super special outfit and he looked totally adorable in it. Another little... Oh, another couple of little word phrases. And now I thought the bottom was just looking a bit plain and kind of looked like everything was really hanging. So I just wanted something to ground everything. So I'm just tearing off a strip of this wood grain. And that brings in another pop of that, uh, that wood grain paper because that bauble kind of looks like it's just a little bit out of place on its own. So this really helps to tie that in. I'm just going to lay that there. I love tearing paper. It's one of my favorite things to do on a layout. Just trim off the extra. Ta-da. Now, I'm not going to leave those baubles hanging. I was thinking about hand stitching, but I couldn't be bothered. And then I remembered I had these strips of Diamante uh, little gems. So they're the ones I'm using are a champagne colour. So I'm just using those and popping them on. And it was super quick and easy, but it's so effective. They're so sparkly and pretty. And I'm really, really pleased with how that turned out. Look at them. I'm definitely going to do this again. Love that. And I'm also going to scatter a few of these. I'm just snipping them off singly and scattering them around. And then the very last thing I do is bring in some of these little sequin stars. So they're not sequins, they're table scatters. So they're just flat. They haven't got a hole in the middle. They're really shiny and reflective, really pretty on layout. So I'm going to use a few of the big ones and then I'm going to use a few of the uh, little ones and all in gold. Just to add a bit of sparkle. And I'm not thinking through this too much. I'm just scattering them randomly. Here are the close-ups. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to go check out the Scrap the Boys Challenge blog. I will leave the link in the description box. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.